What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing another first look, first impression. Today of the Daiwa Tatula Elite Brent Ayler Signature Series Rod. This is the multi-purpose. This year for the kayak fishing tournament season, I decided to do something a little different. I'm picking several brands, sub $200 rods, and putting them through their paces this tournament season. Now Gramps, why would you pick a Daiwa Tatula Elite Rod when they've been out a while. Yeah, the fact that they've been out a while tells you something. It means it won't be too long before they're probably due for an upgrade. But hey, it fit the benchmark sub $200 rod, but you can already tell it's a good quality rod at that price point. These are the signature series rods of all the Daiwa pros, Brett Ayler, Cody Meyer, Ish Monroe, Randy Howe, the Llama, Seth Fighter, and of course one of our favorite Japanese bass anglers, Takahiro Omori. Again, I'm picking out technique specific rods and real combos, matching up the brands as best I can. This one I went with a 7 foot 3 Brett Ayler multi-purpose rod. What I plan on using this for, well first of all, it's a 7.3 medium heavy fast action, but again, that's what I always say is the go-to, the utility rod, the multi-purpose to do everything. But this is the rod I plan on using as my Texas rig rod or those lightweight finesse jigs. But I'm going to pair it up with this beautifully matched Daiwa Tatula SV Limited. 7-1 gear ratio. Talk about a matchy matchy good looking combo. But this reel should work really well with this Tattoo Elite Rod. Looking at the rod, it's got some pretty cool aesthetics to it. Foam cushion grips. This one has the bait keeper up front. The guide wrapping is pretty solid. Fuji guides with alkanite rings inside of them. I've heard those have been hit and miss for some people. Guess we'll have to see what my experience is with them. Nice logo printed in. So a little bit about the blank. They call it an SVF Nano Plus. Come on guys, you're just telling us. That's just the manufacturing process. Translated into English, it means it's light and super sensitive. Or so it says, well not until I get out and fish with it. But apparently it's got higher carbon density, which makes it so much more sensitive. Oh, I see what they did. Yeah, they put the SVF on this side, and then the X45. It's got X45 stamped on the other side, which is supposed to eliminate blank twist. In other words, it's got a wrap around it, probably a cross pattern. We've seen this with a few other rod manufacturers where they're basically cross reaving the carbon to go around the blank to keep it to hold its O shape. Oh. Oh. oh shape if you will so if you eliminate the twist it makes it stronger makes it more sensitive you know what i'm saying now again this is the pro series signature rods from team Daiwa. so all of their top studs you see them fishing you know you see them fishing a lot with these. I see Seth Fighter and Brett Ayler have them in hand all, a lot. So again, as they have access to higher end rods, this is what you actually see most of them fishing with during their tournaments. Now realistically, you probably don't care about all the techie tech stuff. How does it feel? How does it balance? How does it handle while you're out fishing? Is it worth the 180 bucks or whatever it is? Time will tell. Again, this is a first look, just kind of a first overview. We'll come back after the season and talk about how this thing managed, how it held up, and how it performed during my kayak fishing tournaments this upcoming 2022 season. What we'll also do is gather all the brands and do a roundup and see which one we thought actually performed the best at a sub $200 price point. Have you messed with any of the Diablo Signature Series rods yet? Drop me a comment down below, tell me what you think of them so far. So far, it feels light, good, balanced, should work well with this reel. But again, time will tell. If you want to see the other sub $200 rods I'm reviewing for this upcoming fishing season, watch this video right here. Now, if you're brand new to bass fishing or getting back to it after a long time away, or just looking for some tips, tricks, reviews, and how-tos, hit the subscribe button right here and join the fishing family right here on YouTube. Until next time, get outside when you can and make some memories. One cast at a time.